Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Media Access Awards Easter Seals interview series. Today, we're talking to Tony Winner, and I have to say this again, Tony Winner, Ali Stroker. We're talking about the importance of role models and representation. We always talk about representation and we want to see ourselves on screen, on stage, and now you have won a Tony Award, which is the max, you know, the height of working in theater. What do you think your existence can do to the generation following you in terms of now being able to see the possibilities and representation? Well, I, I just hope that it stands as a model, that, that it is possible. I think that that was something that I wish I had had as a kid, to see someone else with a disability on Broadway. And I didn't even imagine seeing somebody with a disability win a Tony. And I had never seen anybody, you know, up until the last few years with a disability at an award show. So... Um, I hope it just stands as a model to show young people with disabilities that they can, you know, be on Broadway and win a Tony. Uh, have you gotten, what kind of response have you gotten from young people with disabilities since you won the Tony? Can you remember any particular responses? Yeah, I mean, it's been so, so positive and so encouraging and so exciting, you know. Um, and then there was just this really beautiful um, video right after the Tony of this little boy in a wheelchair who was watching the Tonys and uh, he said mommy that's me and so they ended up being able to come to uh, the Today Show and I met them and it was just this really sweet moment and he was so cute and had big dreams and, and we got to talk and I got to meet him and his mom and I think it meant a lot to his mom as well because I think as a parent for somebody with, with a, a young person with a disability, sometimes you sort of, I, I know my parents were sort of like where to look, you know, for examples and role models. And so um, I think it meant a lot to her as well. Did you ever dream you would achieve such a level of success? Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, it's funny. I didn't ever dream of winning a Tony. I just really wanted to be on Broadway. And that I could visualize myself doing. I always said, I don't know. It's not a matter of if, it's just how. Like, I will do this. It's just a matter of how I'm going to do it and when I'm going to do it. And I knew that the right thing would come along one day. I really believed that. And so, um, you know, of course, also with things working and having success, it's been amazing to feel like, okay, I can go on and achieve other things. And, you know, I think you build confidence from experience. Um, and I'm just so glad that um, there have been people and artists and collaborators that have been so excited and wanting to collaborate. And I've had something to bring to their projects. And it's just been a beautiful exchange. And the success has come from just a long, long, long time of, you know, not just believing, but a lot of hard work. <laughs> 